TOI believes that Masalamat was able to escape because of a confluence of three factors. One, the ventilation window through which Masalamat had escaped was not properly secured. It was not grilled. Two, the guards had not stopped Masalamat from closing the urinal critical door and as a result lost line of sight of the detainee. And when Masalamat took too long in the urinal cubicle, the guards had not a fencing with the enclosed staircase and walkway at the back of the family's visitation block was a physical weakness that Masalamat probably exploited to get out of WREC. Let me now say more about each of these three factors. Mr. Speaker, sir, Masalamat was able to climb through the toilet climb through the ventilation window because there were no grills over the ventilation window. The COI learned that the WRDC administration had in fact intended to grill all windows in the family visitation block when it began planning for the renovations of WRDC in 2004. These renovations were to upgrade the facilities to address the growing requirements or WRTC and its detainees. ISD had instructed the vendor to grill all, to install grills for all the windows. But when the renovation, re renovation works were carried out in 2007, this toilet ventilation window was not grilled up. This arose due to a difference in understanding between ISD and the vendor over exactly which window were to be secured with crews. Nevertheless, a WRDC staff did a walkabout to review the status of renovation sometime between April and May 2007, and he detected that the ventilation window without crews. He alerted the superintendent of WRDC to this weakness. Instead of having it grilled, the superintendent instructed that the handle of the ventilation window be sawn off as a security measure to make the window more secure. He thought that this would be adequate as he had assumed that the guards would always have sight of the detainees. This is a bad judgment on the part of the superintendent. In my view, sir, the security weakness of this window is the single most crucial factor which enabled Master Lamad to escape. This is because the movement of the detainees from his cell to the family visitation block is always under tight escort, and entry into the block is through a sealed passageway. The omission to fully secure this ventilation window in the family visitation block toilet, routinely used by detainees, was a glaring weakness which should have been rectified properly by grilling it up and not dealt with in an ad hoc manner by sawing off the window handle. The guards failed in their duties. The guard who escorted Master Lamad while he was using this toilet did not stop Master Lamad from closing the urinal cubicle door. This allowed Master Lamad to get out of his line of sight. The guard had assumed that a urinal cubicle was a secure facility and that Master Lamad could not escape from it. This assumption was wrong. When this guard felt that Master Lamad had taken too long in the toilet, he referred the matter to his fellow guard instead of taking immediate action to check on Master Lamad. This officer in turn asked a special duty operative. Finally, it was the assistant case officer who kicked open the urinal cubicle door. If the guard had acted immediately, to check on Masalamat in the urinal cubicle, Masalamat might have been stopped or at least his escape would have been discovered earlier. In my view, these factors taken together form the second most critical factor, failure, which enabled Masalamat to escape. Weaknesses in fiscal security. Once Masalamat got out of the ventilation window, he was able to get over the double perimeter fencing of the WREC. 
the COI could not determine exactly how he did it. Of the different possible scenarios, the COI surmises that Masalamat could have exploited a weakness in the section of the perimeter fencing at the back of the family visitation block. This was a section where the roof of an enclosed staircase and walkway converges with the perimeter fencing. The COI assumes, that, surmises, the COI surmises that Masalamat could have climbed onto this roof and from there jumped over the perimeter fencing and out of WRTC. Sir, we do not know if this scenario is correct. But regardless whether it was exploited, but regardless whether it was exploited by Masalamat to make this escape, the failure of the WRDC staff to detect this particular weakness in the, line, in the fence line in past security review is a failing. The COI notes that the CCTV coverage of the area was in the midst of being upgraded to add ocean detectors. This was part of a major CCTV security surveillance system upgrade for the whole complex. At the time of the escape, there were two CCTV cameras mounted at a location where Masalamat climbed out of the visitation block. However, these cameras were not commissioned yet as they were part of the CCTV system upgrading and the system was still in its testing and validation stage. As such, at the time of the incident, there was no recording or active monitoring of these cameras. This is very unfortunate because if there had been operational cameras in the right places to record the escape, then we could have an idea as to how he got out of the WRTC. The post-incident response